Hey guys, and welcome back to Programming Done Right. Today we're going to be making our Discord bot run 24-7, and we're going to be doing something very important to our Discord bots that will not, your Discord bot will not be able to run commands without this one line of code, so stay tuned real quick. So before I get into how to make your bot run 24-7, there's something that you guys need to know uh, to get your bot to run any commands, like the clear command. So you might need to write await bot.process underscore commands, and you just want to write message, and you should be good to go. That's all you have to write, and your clear command should be okay. I had to read through hours of documentation to find this, so if you guys uh, like these tutorials, then please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on my videos. Now, with that being said, let's get into the actual tutorial on how to make your bot run 24-7. So the first thing you want to do is you just want to copy all of this code and now you want to head over to replit.com. In replit.com, you want to create a new project and I'm just going to create a Python one called um, PDR bot. I'm going to make this an all cast. Yeah, I know I'm adding a lot. That's because I've created a couple of bots on replit. So I need to make the name a little uh, different. Okay, now you want to paste all of your code. Once this is done, uh, what we're, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to head over to the environment tab. Okay, secrets environment variables. The reason we're doing this is because in Replit, uh, the replets are like our code are completely public. So what we want to do is we want to have, uh, we want to uh, make this private, just this one variable. So that's okay, right? So nobody can see it. So we can only see these secrets. So we're gonna make this called token, okay? And we're gonna paste our token so that nobody can hack into our bot. And once that's done, now what we wanna do is we wanna import OS. So import OS. And once that's done, we just wanna write token equals os.inveron.get. And now we wanna put the token like that, okay? And that should be good. So once that's done, you want to run your bot and make sure everything is working perfectly. Oh, uh, and it's going to take some time just because it has to configure some stuff. So I'll see you guys back once it's done. Okay, and we see this beautiful message, bot is ready. That means you're good to go. So we can stop this from running. And now that that's done, we're going to want to create a new file. And the file is going to be called keep, oh, it's going to be called keepalive.py. So keep, oh. I accidentally so I'm gonna write keep underscore alive dot pi. Okay. So here in keep alive dot pi, we're gonna be making a basic website and nobody's gonna see this website. It's very basic. We're gonna be making it with Flask. And it's just for um it's just for getting a URL to host this and make it run forever and ever. So uh don't uh, don't worry about it. So basically it's just like really basic of a website and I don't wanna go over how to make it cause it's, it's just like a few lines of code and it's using Flask. And that's a whole nother tutorial that I'm gonna be doing later. So the code for uh, putting in this website will actually be in the description and in the comments, I'll just put it in the comments. So I'll paste that code. So I recommend you guys go down right now and get that code. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get the code and I'm gonna copy that into my program. So you just wanna copy all of this. So all we're doing in this file is we're getting Flask and we're just uh, from Flask, all we're doing is we're importing threading and we're just creating a very simple website that's returning, hello, I am alive. It's actually pretty simple and we're just running it using a host and a port. So it's not that fit, it's not that hard. So. Uh, code will be in the description. Now you want to run this again, and we're just going to have to wait for it to resolve dependencies again, and uh, I'll meet you guys back when it's done. Or actually, it's done, I think, already. Okay, so now um, there's a problem. It hasn't run our website, and the reason is we forgot to actually link it. So the way we link it is pretty simple. We just write from keep alive, from keep underscore alive, and we're just gonna write import keep alive, okay? And once that's done, we just write before we run this code, we just wanna write keep underscore alive, 
Okay, and now we want to stop this and run it again. Let's try it out. So I'll meet you guys back once it's done. Or actually, it's done now. Okay, and you're going to get these like warnings or whatever. Just ignore them. You're good to go. You have your website made. You want to copy this link, okay? This one right here in the website. So copy this. And now we're going to go to a place called Uptime Robot. This is going to help us host our robot forever and ever. So we're going to go to Uptime Robot, okay? And here we can go to Uptime Robot. And you're just going to want to quickly log in or create an account. I'll meet you guys back once I've logged in. Once you've logged in or signed up and made an account, then you're going to get to this page. You want to press add new monitor. And now you want to uh, make a monitor type. We're going to do HTTPS, OK? And a friendly name, this is just what it's going to call. This doesn't really matter. I'm just going to name it Discord PDR robot, OK? Or robot. And then this is where we put the link to our website. So remember, we had something over here. We just want to copy this. And now we're going to go over here and put our website. And you're not going to change anything else, OK? And we're going to press Create Monitor. It's going to say Create Monitor with no alert selected. You're going to say, yeah, we're that cool. <laughs> No, it's just that we don't want it pinging us every like five minutes. We don't want that happening to us. It's just going to keep your website alive. So now when you run this, it's going to work forever. That's it. You have created your Discord bot to run forever. As a demonstration, I'm going to close the replit file and I'm going to close Uptime Robot if you guys are uh, skeptical. And I'm going to go to discord.com and head over to my bot. Okay, so right here we have our bot and I'm just, I pressed, I said, hello, and it says hello back. And this works pretty well. So I could do, uh, what are the rules? And it will tell me the rules. So this is a really, really cool project. And I think that you've created a really cool Discord bot. So show it to your friends, your family, add it to your server and you're done. So now I'm gonna be signing out leave a like, comment, and please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers right now. So it would really, really I'd be really grateful if you could have to hit that red button. Anyways, that's all for today. Bye, Programming Done Right, out.